Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're having an awesome day because I'm having an awesome day. You wanna know why? Because we got some money, it's coming. Uh, what, what is it, 1.5 trillion? 1.5, right? One. One, oh, one? We didn't get that much money, crap. I wasn't ready for that, one trillion. We got a trillion dollars, I'm so excited. I don't know what you're gonna buy. I'm probably gonna get a TV. I need a TV because I only got a 66 inch. I'm gonna get a 67 inch because that means I'm better than everybody with a 66 inch. I'm joking, I do not have a 66 inch TV. If you really wanna know the size, it's 50. I'm pretty sure it's 50. My point being is this, we got paid. No, we didn't get paid. That's total sarcasm, guys. That money ain't going into our pockets. It's going into infrastructure. And if you've ever been in California on, I on what is it, I-5, you'll know it's not going on into our streets. It's not going into our infrastructure. And that's the sad thing about it. It's gonna pad a lot of people's pockets. You're gonna see a little bit of money trickle out here and there, and there's gonna be people with hard hats and a shovel and thing of dirt and say, this is, this is your money going to work for you. But the facts of the matter are, I, I'm not even joking, probably well over half that money is never gonna make it to an infrastructure project that's gonna pad the paychecks of a very few uh, people in this country. Now, why am I bringing that up? Ninja, please, why are you bringing that up? It's because we need to understand and be aware of the times we're in. There was a time about three years ago that I said that you know the hyperinflation will be here when we're printing a trillion dollars a month and we are almost there. I'm not gonna lie, I think that we will be at a trillion dollars a month when you're talking about between, you know, actually creating uh, money, you know, printing new money through the Federal Reserve, debt, all that stuff, but then also these stimulus packages that we're, we're, we're vying for right now, money that our future generations uh, are gonna owe back, right? But I have a feeling it's gonna collapse before then. We're gonna have a whole new, <laughs> a whole new currency. Um, but the truth is, that I believe that we are close within the next six months to be able to say we are printing a trillion dollars a month. And when that happens, we will see a hyperinflationary event. Now between then, there's a lot of debates if we're gonna go heavier inflation, go into deflation before hyperinflation. You guys, if you watch my video on the dollar whippet theory that the Economic Ninja coined in June, it was that we were gonna go from an inflation into a deflation, which I believe we have already started but remember, deflation doesn't happen all around the world at the same time, and it doesn't happen in every asset class. Like everything, and then I'm gonna get to the hyperinflation, when you move from inflation to deflation, like we saw in 2007, it starts in one asset class. 2007, it was uh, discretionary spending, like uh, vacations and things like that started to take a hit. The, the vacation industry started to take a hit because people slowed their spending, right? That's, that's the cream on the top. It's super easy to say, you know what? Let's just not go on a vacation. Things are a little tight. Costs are getting expensive. I remember food was going up a little back then and gasoline and diesel was going up really fast nationwide. So that's the cream on the, on the top. Then all of a sudden it's like, you know what? You started seeing auto sales starting to decline because I don't know if you guys remember, but back then, Everybody seemed to have an SUV. <laughs> From 2004 to 2007, everybody had SUVs until gas got expensive. Then everyone's selling the SUVs and they're getting Priuses. I know, guys, I live in California. <sighs> My point being is that deflation didn't happen in every asset class all at once. It wasn't like you just flipped the switch and went, hey, today, uh, you know, things got too expensive. Let's turn off the switch and just make everything go down. Well, that's already starting. We're starting to see real estate starting, it's, it's starting to crater. And, uh, you know, unless there's intervention from the Federal Reserve, you know, via dropping uh, interest rates even long more, or we start to see 40 year mortgages uh, interest rates come way down, which are not right now, housing's gonna struggle. That's exciting. For Ninja Nation, that is. And then it's gonna trickle into other uh, asset classes until you're in a full-blown deflation. Then the Federal Reserve, because trust me, they know what's going on. Then they're gonna go, all right, let's do something. Then we're gonna be the heroes. And then we're gonna see hyperinflation because when the Federal Reserve finally decides to wake up and move, right? And just so you know, it's not because they're asleep at the wheel. They want to be reactionary. They do not wanna be proactive. Why? Because if they're proactive, then they, uh, then they will get blamed for the next thing that happens. If they're reactionary, they're the heroes on the white horse throwing out money, just making it rain money, just $100 bills, y'all. So, in essence, the ninja is ranting about the Federal Reserve and the government in collusion, even though the Federal Reserve is not federal, it is a private entity, 
loaning us another $1 trillion. But don't worry guys, this ain't it. And this is not gonna help us. This will not pull us out. It will make certain people even wealthier. That's why at Ninja Nation, it's about right now, we start to slow back our spending. We build a monetary base. Now this isn't financial advice. It's a dude with a brohawk and a dream. Don't take financial advice from me, you'd be nuts. We'll tell that to the judge. But what we wanna do, what I do, is I wanna build a monetary base outside of the system, like buying physical gold and silver. Uh, I like Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies that are deflationary, right? Good solid projects, not Shibu Inu polka dotted uh, speckled fish coin, all right? I know it sounds crazy, they're going up until they're not, trust me. Something of real value, of strength and stability outside of a fiat currency system. And then getting out of debt, that should be first and foremost because you're a slave to the lender. Don't be a slave, get out of that slave system. Now, there's gonna be plenty of time for debt and we're gonna be using debt as a tool to gain wealth during this collapse. But right now, while interest rates are super low, it sounds crazy, that's not the time to be buying real estate. You wanna buy real estate when interest rates are high. I know that sounds crazy, but trust me, in the few coming months, <laughs> I'm gonna teach you some stuff that's super cool. So with that being said, if you have not subscribed, I'm just gonna hit you with a shameless plug. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. I put out way too much videos, it's not healthy. I drink way too much coffee, I get it. If you think I should drink less coffee, put it in the comments. If you think I should drink more coffee, put it in the comments. Just let's wake the algo up. All right guys, with that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.